The Man and Braves might be the most intriguing team entering the 2022 football season, losing only a few players to graduation. Aside from the loss of a few defensive standouts, Mandan will have a ton of depth with experience. And Coach Todd Sheldon sees his roster as a bunch of above average talent. Those players sense it too, knowing if they just play to their strengths, they'll be a force this year. End of games, we got to finish them out. And we got to lean on our teammates more, and everyone's got to do their job. And if that happens, we could have been a way better team last year. It was just the little things that we do that we wouldn't lean on each other, and that's what, that's what made us lose in that game. We've got to keep working our butts off. Every now and then, we can see it, focus gets lost, and we've got to keep doing stuff, but we get that focus on, and we just keep working hard. We'll be able to make this a season to remember. Mandan stands out the most with the return ta returning talent on offense, a team that far and away led the WDA in passing, bringing back Tri Frank, Carson Jablonski, and quarterback Max Carlson. Add that to a veteran O-line, and this group already feels they are ahead of the curve. They're like, hey, let's just throw a few things at them, and they ran every play um, just really well. Um, and those are, you know, week five sort of, sort of things. So I think that ex level of experience, that level of knowledge of what we're supposed to do and what our assignments are, that's really pretty high, especially in that offensive line group. Uh, we've thrown a little, few little wrinkles in for the skill guys, so they're not quite to week five, maybe week three. But, you know, that's awesome when you're talking about we're really day four. Manon opens the season at home on August 26th, hosting the Fargo Davies Eagles.